Dragon Stout. Life is too short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. I have got one from Jamaica today. It is their Dragon Stout. Now this is uh, this is brewed by the Nodes and Ged Geddes, I think their name is. And uh, I think they're owned by Heineken, or Heineken have a massive stake in their brewery. They do Red Stripe as well, and they do uh, the old Jamaica Ginger Beer. They make that as well. It's only ever brewed in Jamaica, and this is imported over to the United Kingdom. It's been going since 1920. And I actually remember this from a kid, from when I was a kid. You could buy this in a chemist. Now, don't ask me why, but I do remember seeing this in a chemist. And I remember all the... all the Because I'm where I'm from, there was a lot of Jamaicans living around here in Tottenham. And all the little Jamaican kids used to run round drinking bottles of this, little bottles of this. It's a stout. Now, when I was a kid, stout was disgusting. So they must have been drinking that, thinking, oh yeah, we're Jamaican. But Christ almighty, they must have hated it. I had, um, I had there's two of them. There's one with a lighter, um, a lighter label as well. And I had that as well when I was a kid, and I thought it was absolutely disgusting. I haven't tried it since then. This is going to be a new one on me. So, I'm looking forward to it. What is it? Well, it's a 284ml bottle, which is an unusual measure. It's 7.5% alcohol in the volume. The ingredients are ringing loads of alarm bells with me. I'll just read them out to you. And I'll just warn you now, there's definitely no Reinheitsgebot in Jamaica or purity laws in Jamaica. This contains water, malted barley, barley, sugar, glucose, uh, sorry, sugar, glucose syrup, colour, ammonia caramel. Ammonia caramel, fuck, that sounds dodge. Hop extract and carbon dioxide. And you just think, fucking hell, that is not looking good at all. Uh, it's actually brewed in Kingston, Jamaica, believe it or not. And uh, yeah, Heineken. It's imported by Heineken, so that's why it's quite widely available. Certainly in London, you can get this in most of the shops, especially around um, uh, Tottenham, Brixton, um, uh, Peckham. Anywhere there's a big Jamaican community, you'll get you'll get this being sold. So let's take a look and see what's happening. First of all, there is the cap. Oh, whether you can see that or not, I'll get a bit of light on it. I'll hold it up to the light, actually. Let's get it open. There is the cap. It is a full colour cap. There you go. There is the cap. Full colour cap. Looks quite good. In the collection it goes. On the nose, what are we getting? Spirit alcohol, sweet, syrupy, treacle type aroma, vague chocolate, and not a lot else. Um, there's, as I say, there's a lot of sugar in this, so you could sort of class it as a sort of foreign extra or. Maybe even an imperial stout, who knows. But there it goes, wow. There's a lot of carbonation and the head is dissipating at a rate of knots, as you would expect with all that alcohol in it. Uh, that is not see-through at all. You cannot, s oh actually, no, I'll tell a lie, you can. There's very, very, very dark, dark chestnut, mahogany, ruby, 
type colour. But you know, looking at it from here, that is just not see through at all. On the nose, in the glass, more of the same. Sweet chocolate, a little bit of coffee, dark fruit as well. There's some sweet fruit on that, and getting to like a molasses type sort of sugary, burnt sugar. Mm, right, let's get it down the hatch and see what this tastes like. I was actually dreading this. When I saw the ingredients, I thought this is going to be absolutely disgusting. But it's reasonably pleasant. And not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. There is sweetness there. Don't get me wrong. There is, you can taste the sweetness. But what you're getting mainly, I'm finding, is there is like a milky stroke dark chocolate type flavour. Aftertaste is coffee. There's fruit on top of that, like dark fruit. And there is like a, as I said before, like a molasses treacle type flavour. actually quite drinkable. Now I tried that um, Sam Smith's Imperial Stout um, a couple of days ago and I was really disappointed with that and I had really high hopes and when I bought this today, this cost me £1.80, I bought it in the shop around the corner and as I said before because my trips to the supermarket are limited and all the stuff I'm buying online is limited, um, I'm having to buy everything up in the shop round the corner and this was the last bottle of this stuff left <clears throat> and I looked at the ingredients and I thought I've got to review it but I was not expecting much and to be honest I'm a little bit surprised it's quite drinkable there's none of that I thought there was going to be super sh super strong again super strong um, coffee, chocolate, you know, bitterness. But that's not there at all. And then I suppose when you look at all the sugar that's in this, you know, they've got glucose syrup and sugar as well. They've got the colour, ammonia caramel. Christ almighty, what is that? What the fuck is that? Uh, th there's hop extract. I imagine that's the only thing that could possibly be better in this. There's barley and there's malted barley as well. So that's going to be sweet as well. You've got sugar and glucose on top of that. So the four, and you know, that's that's the four main ingredients. And they're all sweet. So really, you've got to take that into account. But all in all, as I say, it's not bad. A sort of caramel. No, it's, it's actually toffee and chocolate notes on that flavour and then you've got you've got the sort of coffee aftertaste but it's not big it's not big coffee like espresso or something like that which you normally get from them craft brewed stouts all in all this is like a sweet a sweet stout almost dare I say it like a breakfast stout you know with the lactose but it's not as drinkable and there's a fair bit of carbonation in this and that comes through on the on the mouthfeel slightly but it ain't bad that is not as bad as I thought it was going to be so what's the verdict well considering the ingredients and what I was expecting this was a pleasant surprise it's got none of the harsh notes you'd expect from a stout you know, as I said before, but having said that, it's quite drinkable. I'd actually give this a 7 out of 10, 
and I was all prepared to give this like a 2 out of 10 saying it's fucking disgusting, it's full of sugar, avoid it. But they seem to have got the balance just right on that. And I still think the kids in Tottenham who were drinking this weren't liking it at all. It's probably not to their sort of flavour. But it's actually sweeter than Guinness and it's slightly easier drinking than Guinness too. And it's certainly sweeter than the foreign extra stout from Guinness. And I think, would I recommend it? I think if you're used to your craft beer um, or your craft brewed stouts and extra stouts, you might find this a little bit boring. But if you're just trying to get into you know, drinking stout, this isn't a bad place to start because it's quite sweet. There's high alcohol in it. You couldn't drink a lot of these. I couldn't drink a lot of this. It's just too sweet. That would get too way too sweet for me. But I think if you're gonna, you know, if you're trying to get into drinking stout, try one of these first and get that down your neck. And you know, if you don't like this, you're certainly not gonna like the bitter flavours of the imperial stouts. And even you know, even your normal Guinness, you're not you're not really gonna like that. But all in all, I'm actually surprised because I mean these are these are the people that make red red stripe, and I wouldn't touch red stripe for fucking barge pub. It's disgusting stuff. I don't get it. It's, it's horrible lager. I remember they used to have something called Crucial Brew. I don't even remember that from the 80s. Fuck me. The headache you'd get from that. It's in a black can. Crucial Brew. It's about 10%, 11%. Fucking hell. Lethal. So, yeah. I'll give that a 7 out of 10. And I'd recommend it if you want to get into drinking stout. If you've not just tasted stout before, try some of this. Dragon Stout. And remember, beer is working class champagne.